you've probably seen already there's a few fruit trees here uh, the French guy who lived there who owned this place for about seven years he planted them and everyone was saying here oh they're not gonna grow here because you're on the northwest slope and uh, it's too cold on 1230 meters what this is but um, actually a few are doing quite well there's a raspberry over there I think I've seen blueberry too because I came here the first time it was July but it was a jungle here I really didn't explore much of the fruit trees um, and it was after season for a few of them but um, you know we live in a, in, a, in a changing time of climate change and then the temperatures are getting higher I've seen it this winter so that means also different rules for fruit trees and, and, and plants and everything so this one looks healthy I don't know what it is I've seen a few labels I have to check up on them what they are but um, I guess I'll soon I'll learn that I think there's an apple tree over there it was doing quite well it was having leaves until it was getting snowy but um, yeah this is looking good remember this was a very healthy tree um, I don't know what it is it has big like round leaves so what else this one's looking strong too there's a label here let me just see what it says ah, should I break it ah, this doesn't say anything yeah, this one is definitely not doing well there's a few more next to the solar panels I'll probably do a little vegetable garden over there next to the solar a little bit higher because it's always sunny there so and that could be a little greenhouse so much to do but I'll, I'll think I'll start a, a very small simple garden uh, which doesn't require too much work like for this year because I'm very busy with the house but um, you know you gotta eat and it's nice to do all the little things together simultaneously with the build
I'm gonna make a stone path here because it's getting a bit too muddy. I'm walking around here all the time when I'm working here. At first it was fine, but it's it's raining so much the last days that it's starting to become ugly. Um, you know, I want to keep as much of the sort of ruin in a jungle look. When I've arrived here, it was so beautiful. Everything is green up till the houses, you know, and it's gonna be really nice and grassy here in the summer. But when you live here and work here, it, it will just become muddy. So I'm going to keep that rustic look, but so I'm going to put just a few stones here where you can walk on. And then around the stones, you can the grass can grow, which I think it will be nice.
Right on. That middle part still needs to be done. Those stones are still wobbly. But uh, at least I have a path now, so it's nice. <sighs> Call it a day. not gonna work. I need to go to the steel guy to make those holes or buy better drills. So this is the fulcrum. I've asked Mr. Falco. Fulcrum Falco. That's not a coincidence. He's the steel guy in town and he um, he cut this for me because uh, you know it's very difficult to cut steel which is five millimeters thick and to get holes in there. I mean I'm trying to get holes in the in these bits that go here. Even drilling a small hole is difficult so drilling a hole of 3.3 centimeters you need some very strong drilling material. So this is going in there. I'm going to weld this and this is going to sit on a thrust bearing. This is gonna sit in here and like that the crane can tilt.
see what we got. Doesn't look too bad.
Okay, there was an animal and just went outside. It jumped into the forest. I heard the bushes. I didn't have. Uh, I just went to pee. I didn't have my light on, so I didn't see anything. <sighs> Might have just been a deer or something. might have been a it sounded a bit like a, a, a swine a pig it made a sound like that like a heavy sound a boar I think that's what it's called <laughs> I need to get trail cams maple wood I got this from the sawmill I couldn't sell this anymore because it had some worms and but it's still very strong and young wood so yeah it's nice
Which flag is it this time? I had no idea. In other words, some people saying like, uh, oh, he's on the north side of the mountain. I would never buy a place there. But I have some thoughts about it because I think the orientation here is, is quite good. First of all, it's not straight north. The cabins are pointing northwest. So that is exactly northwest and north is more there. Um, and it all depends, you know, if you if you want to buy a place and you're looking like most of the time you would say like, oh, the south side is the best side of the mountain because it's warmer, it's sunnier, it's lighter. Um, it's good for a lot of reasons and it is definitely warmer on the south side than here because the cold ground like in the early spring and in winter is reflecting the cold. Um, but on a day like today, it's, it's really nice. Um, but it has also to do with where are the other mountains right if you're on the south side and you're a little bit lower on the slope and there's a big mountain in front of you you still have no light in in december for example because the sun is going to be very low or if there's mountains on the side you know it could mean like you could have light very light late in the day or just early in the morning and not in the afternoon so it all depends it also depends on the slope like right here it's it's quite shallow and I'm close to the top of the, the mountain, so it means like I have sun quite early. Like right now it's 22 March, the sun comes up just before 8, it comes over the hill. And then it sets there around 5, and then in summer it's going to be setting there around 8, I think, or 8.30 even. Um, so it depends on a lot of things, you know. Uh, my neighbor Johannes is on the south side, which is much more, it's like 45 degrees in some parts. Some parts it's even steeper. So that means it's really warm. So you got the early light, it warms up the soil and the rock, it warms up the house. So it is, it is a lot warmer. Um, but he loses the sun around 4, I think. So yeah, he has the early light basically, and not in the afternoon. Even in summer, because it's such a... A steep slope you know the Sun goes behind the mountain I think it's facing southeast um, another thing is the view I think the view is better when you're on the northwest or northeast side like here this, the light is mostly coming from the side first in the early morning you got these these peaks are lighting up you know if it's a very bright day it's lighting up orange it's really beautiful and then you got the light is flat on the mountains and then through the afternoon now it is 
half past one so it's getting a bit more to the side you see a lot of definition in the view you know you see the, the highlights and shadows in the mountains there's a lot to look at so I think the view is, is better yesterday I was at a friend's house and he's facing south and it's a really nice location but it, you you just look against the Sun you know because the Sun is still quite low and um, yeah you're just squinting like this now I'm facing the Sun as well and it's like it's it makes you tired and you see less of the view because the mountains on the other side they become silhouettes you know you got the first mountains have more definition you can see the trees and colors the mountain behind that is more like hazy blue you know the mountains behind that are just flat lighter shades of blue until the horizon you know but it, which is a beautiful like stacking view it is very different here you see much more of the view and because the Sun is in your back you're naturally more facing the view you know because it's you get tired of looking into the Sun so what I'm meaning to say is like if you wanna if you're thinking of buying a cabin somewhere in the mountains or buying a place like northwest northeast southeast southwest it's all fine it's uh, it's all very different i think you just have to visit the place see for yourself you know you got these apps one of them is photo pills where you can just point at the sun it will tell you where it sets you know and you can set it on a date so you can look in winter and in summer at where the sun is coming up and where it sets so you can kind of predict the light yeah you know. It also depends on where the trees are, you know, because they are blocking the light. Like right now it's very open because there's no leaves on the trees. So when the sun comes up, it just shines through the trees. You know, when it's uh, October, November, it's a bit darker because they kind of block the sun for some parts of the day. So yeah, it all depends, but I'm, I'm really happy here. I think it's a, it's a very good or orientation. Right, it works. Um, this one needs uh, bearings still. I've ordered them, but I'm waiting for them. 
So there's going to be a thrust bearing here so it can rotate nicely. So and it's resting on the bearing and there's going to be an, a ball bearing here so the pipe is stabilized so it can do this. Right now it's still loose. And then I might need to reinforce this part. Just have to see, I might need to reinforce these diagonals so it really cannot do this. And this has to be attached to this one, which is have, I haven't done yet, so a few things to do, but it looks good.